Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Gastrointestinal stromal tumor, that is a GIST. So here, this is nothing but a most common mesenchymal tumor. It is a most common mesenchymal mesenchymal tumor and this is nothing but other GIT so it arises from the interstitial cells of the kajal so it is from the interstitial cells and this is nothing but of kajal so it is C-A-J-A-L so of kajal this is the pacemaker of the GIT so it is nothing but the pacemaker of the GIT and the stomach is the most common site the stomach is the most common site it is MC so we saw the gastrointestinal stromal tumor GIST so here the most common is the mesenchymal tumor of the GIST there is the interstitial cells of kajal this forms a pacemaker of the GIT and the stomach being the most common site now let's look further so almost all GIST so all the GIST they express a CKIT so they express a CKIT and also the CD117 then it also includes the PDGF so the PDGF receptor A so PDGF receptor A as well as the CD34 so all GIT it expresses the C kit that is CD117 the PDGF receptor A as well as the CD34 now let's look at the clinical features the clinical features is that it peaks so there is a peak and this is seen at 60 years of age so there's a peak at 60 years of age now what is the most common symptom the most common symptom if you see it is the upper GI bleed so it is the upper GI bleed and it includes some other symptoms such as the pain there is presence of lump there is perforation as well and some incidental findings so what we need to know is all GIST they are associated with the C kit that is CD117 the PDGF receptor A the CD34 the common features the clinical features there is there is this peaks at 60 years of age the most common being the upper part where there is GI bleed and symptoms it includes pain lump perforation as well as the some incidental findings then there is a very important carnese triad so there is a carnese triad this carnese triad is uh, there is a presence of sporadic gst so sporadic gist and there is paraganglioma para ganglioma Next is the pulmonary chondroma. There is pulmonary chondroma. So let's look at carnage triad, the sporadic GIST, paraganglioma and the pulmonary chondroma. Now, how do you manage this situation, this condition? So management here is, uh, what is IOC? That is the investigation of choice. Investigation of choice for the primary GIST it includes the CECT of the abdomen and when you look at the IOC for the recurrent GIST that is happening once again that is recurrent GIST is a PET CT then when you're looking at the IHC IHC markers the IHC markers it includes a CD117 or the C kit so CD117 or the C kit this is the most common and there is also the dog dog one dog one so this is most specific and then there is also the cd34 so how is the root of metastasis here the root of metastasis it is hematogenous here we saw the management the IOC is a primary GIST for the CDCT abdomen the recurrent GIST is PET CT and IHC markers such as the CD117 
417 CK2 is, is the most common and the dog one is the most specific. There is CD34 as well and the root is hematogenous. So root of metastasis is nothing but hematogenous. Now let's look at some other points. So there is a Fletcher classification. There is something known as a Fletcher. So there is something known as a Fletcher classification. There, this involves the tumor size as well as the number of mitotic figures. So it includes the tumor, the tumor size, and also the number of mitotic figures, number of the mitotic, mitotic figures. So this is used to classify the tumors according to their malignancy risk. So as per the malignancy risk, it is used. So how is the prognosis? The prognosis is determined by the mitotic index. The, so it is by the mitotic index. Next is the tumor size. So it is by the mitotic index, the tumor size and the location of the tumor. That is also the location. The location of the tumor. So that is the stomach GIST are less aggressive. So the stomach GIST, they are less aggressive. So to recap the Fester classification, this is used for the classifying the tumors according to the mitotic figures. And this is as per the malignant risk. So the prognosis, this is determined by the mitotic index and the tumor size, as well as the location of the tumor, that is the stomach's GIST, they are very less aggressive. So the Fester classification deals with the tumor size and the non number of mitotic figures. Next is the complete surgical resection, there is complete surgical resection. So this complete surgical resection is the mainstay treatment. This is the main treatment. It is the main treatment. This is for the unresectable recurrent. This is for unresectable. It is uh, recurrent as well as the metastatic GST. Metastatic GIST. And there is the imatinib. So imatinib is nothing but a thyro thyrosine kinase inhibitor. It is thyrosine kinase inhibitor and this also can be used. So the complex surgical resection, the management will be by the mainstay treatment for unresectable recurrent as well as the metastatic GIST, the imatinib is a thyrosinase kinase inhibitor, it may be used. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.